The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. You were born amidst the Dalish Elves, noble wanderers who refused to join the society of humans that subjugated their homeland so long ago. The Dalish traveled the land in tightly knit clans, struggling to maintain their half-forgotten law in a human world that fears and despises them. You spend your time hunting with your clanmate Tamlin in the forests, and as is sometimes the case, your quarry is not always the local wildlife. It's a Dalish! And you three are somewhere you shouldn't be. Let us pass, Elf. You have no right to stop us. No? We will see about that, won't we? You're just in time. I found these humans lurking in the bushes. Bandits, no doubt. We aren't bandits, I swear! 
Please don't hurt us. You Shemlin are pathetic. It's hard to believe you ever drove us from our homeland. We've never done nothing to you, Dalish. We didn't even know this forest was yours. This forest isn't ours, fool. You've stumbled too close to our camp. You Shems are like vermin. We can't trust you not to make mischief. What do you say, Lethaline? What should we do with them? Does it matter? Hunting or banditry, we'll need to move camp if we let them live. L look, we didn't come here to be trouble. We just found a cave. Yes, a cave. With ruins like I've never seen. We thought there might be, uh... Treasure? So you're more akin to thieves than actual bandits. But I, uh, I have proof. Here, we found this just inside the entrance. This stone has carvings. Is this elvish? Written elvish? There's, there's more in the ruins. We didn't get very far in, though. There was a demon. It was huge with black eyes. Thank the Maker we were able to outrun it. <sighs> a demon. Where is this cave? Just off the west, I think. There's a cave in the rock face and a huge hole just inside. Well, do you trust them? Shall we let them go? Run along then, Shems. And don't come back until we Dalish have moved on. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Well, shall we see if there's any truth to this story? These carvings make me curious. Skittish Shems say it's a demon and you believe them. They've probably woke up a bear. Let's see if these ruins actually exist. Then we'll worry about what to do. Already. Let's look for this cave. They said it was to the west. This must be the cave. I don't recall seeing this before, do you? Always the careful one. Fine, but I'm not running back until I know there's something worth making a fuss over. Come on, let's at least see what's there. How dangerous could it be? It looks like the Shem was telling the truth. These ruins look more human than elven. This place makes me nervous. I'm not sure. This looks like a very old human place. Why would they build this? And why would elven artifacts be here? Maybe some of our ancestors lived here. 
in caves, like the dwarves. I'll stick to roaming the land myself. She takes any opportunity to gather elven lore. When the clans come together, they exchange whatever they've found. She shouldn't come without hunters to guard her, though. The air here feels so... sinister. Well, whatever it is, it, it won't stop me. A Dalish hunter fears nothing. be done. This place makes me nervous. I'm not sure. This looks like a very old human place. Why would they build this? Maybe some of our ancestors lived here. In caves, like the dwarves. I'll stick to... Are you curious? We could be discovering our history. Minstrels will write songs about us. If I were to bring some valuable ancestral artifact back to the Keeper, she might forgive me for... Well, you know. Of course. You know I'd do anything for you. At any rate, I wasn't expecting this place to feel quite like this. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. As you say. It shall be done. Look there, a cunning trap. Very well. It's a trap. Cunning trap. It shall be done. This place makes me nervous. I suppose so. Hey, weren't you supposed to be assisting Master Verathorn today? How did you end up coming with me? I thought that might be the case. I'm glad. Let's just find whatever's here and get out. We can talk later. I can't believe this. You recognize this statue, don't you? Back when our people lived in Arlathan, statues like these honored the creators. When the Shems enslaved us, much of that lore was lost. This looks like human architecture, with the statue of our people. Can these ruins date back to the time of Arlathan? Yes. Time and decay take their toll. Still, 
is bound to be something of value. You aren't going to leave without taking a closer look at the mirror, are you? It sat here for who knows how many centuries? What could be so dangerous? Don't worry, I won't break it. I wonder what this writing is for. Maybe this isn't... Hey, did you see that? I think something moved inside the mirror. Hold on, I just want to know what it is. Don't you see it? There it is again. Can you feel that? I think it knows we're here. I just need to take a closer look. It's showing me places. I can see some kind of city underground. And there's a great blackness. It saw me. Help! I can't look away! Can you hear me? I am very sorry. You're awake. You've the god's own luck, Lethalan. You're back at camp. Everyone is worried sick about you. How do you feel? I don't know. The Shem who brought you here saw no sign of him. A Shem brought you back two days ago. You don't remember him? He was a Grey Warden and appeared out of nowhere with you slung over his shoulder. You were delirious with fever. He said that he found you outside a cave in the forest, unconscious and alone. He left you here and ran off again. The Keeper's been using the old magic to heal you. Of course. Most of the Hunters are off looking for him right now. But the Keeper wanted to talk to you as soon as you awoke. Stay here. I'll get her. I see you are awake, Dalan. It is fortunate Duncan found you when he did. I know not what dark power held you, but it nearly bled the life from you. It was difficult even for my magic to keep you alive. If he encountered the same thing you did? Yes. The Grey Warden said he found you alone outside a cave, already stricken. Duncan thought there may have been darkspawn creatures inside the cave. Is that true? Walking corpses? Dark magic, but not darkspawn. I know not what the other creatures might have been. What else did you find? What is the last thing you remember? A mirror. And it caused all this? I have never heard of such a thing in all the lore we have collected. Oh, I was hoping for answers when you woke, but there are only more questions. And Tamlin remains missing. He is more important than any lore in these ruins. If he is as sick as you were, his condition is grave. Duncan returned to the cave to search for Darkspawn. But we cannot rely on him to look for Tamlin as well. 
We must go ourselves, and quickly. Do you feel well enough to show us the way, Dalin? Without you, we will not find it. Your fever broke, and the signs of whatever illness snared you are gone. But truthfully, I don't know if you are free from it or not. I wish I knew more. Still, you seem well enough now. We must watch your condition, but without you we will not find this cave. Yes, he may very well be. We can only search and pray, Dalen. You are his last remaining hope. I am relieved to hear it. I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Merrill with you to the cave. Find Tamlen if you can, but do it swiftly. If there is any truth to what Duncan said, then Darkspawn may show up in these parts soon. We must get away from that horde, but that is not our only concern. Did you encounter any other humans out in the forest? Although you hurt no one, these humans roused their nearby village against us. As everywhere, our people are not welcome here. We have stayed too long, and we must move on, quickly. I would be lying if I said I was not. But whatever knowledge lies in that cave is not worth our children. I send you back with hopes of finding Tamlin, and that is all. Meryl knows a degree of my magic. Tamlin's chances of surviving the journey back are greater with her help. I also wish for Meryl to see this cave and mirror. She has a sense for these things, and could shed light on the nature of this illness. Go quickly, for Tamlin's life hangs in the balance. the Keeper sending you back to that cave to look for Tamlin? I want to go with you. Keeper Marathari probably won't approve, but I can help find Tamlin. Tamlin's my friend, too. I want to help find him. If Meryl can risk it, so can I. Good. I'll follow you, just to make sure Meryl doesn't go running to the Keeper when you tell her I'm coming. I shall do it. So you should be. What were you two thinking, wandering into that cave without first coming to tell the Keeper? Tamlin's idea, huh? And you've no mind of your own. I suppose your youth can be forgiven. Sadly, Tamlin pays the price. Losing you would be a terrible crime, Dalen. You belong to more than just yourself, or do you not remember? Let us tell these children of the fall of the Dales. You can honor me by sharing in the telling. All Dalish should know this tale, and hold its lessons close to heart. Children, hear of the fall of the Dales. Hear the tale of what makes you Dalish. Would you care to begin, Dalen? <clears throat> Let us start with the history that makes us Dalish. When we were slaves. Yes, slaves to a terrible empire. The humans built on the darkest magic. When it fell, we became free. We built a homeland in the Dales, worshipping the creators and rebuilding the culture and history we lost in our long years of slavery. But the humans would not leave us be. They were resentful because we would not worship their gods. 
and because we put our people first. Over the years, their nations grew cold toward the Dales. In their eyes, we were blasphemers and cruel tyrants. A war erupted. The humans invaded our homeland in the name of their one god, denouncing our sacrilegious nation. And so the Dales fell. They took our lands and dispersed our people, forcing us to live in their cities and abandon our gods. But many of us refused to relinquish our ways. We instead chose to scatter to the winds, wandering the lands, to survive and preserve our culture. The clans stay apart until the day the Elvenon have a homeland once more. We shall then return the old ways to those of our people who have lost them. We are the Dalish, keepers of the lost lore, walkers of the lonely path. The Oath of the Dales, and no smartmouth comment. Thank the creators for small mercies. I will let you get back to your tasks. I pray you find Tamlin quickly. Now that's something I rarely hear. Of course. Ah, yes. The Lost City. Before the Shemlin enslaved us, even before they came to this part of the world, our people lived in glorious Arlathan. Legends say that our ancestors were immortal, and we possessed magic the Shemlin could only dream of. When the humans enslaved us, they took away our language, our history, and our immortality. We quickened to the pace of life and retained nothing of ourselves. We were slaves for so long that even when we became free, there was little for us to recover. If books still exist, I do not know of them. Perhaps they have no choice. Dalish clans are scattered to the winds and rarely gather, which makes us difficult for any organized effort to destroy. And why bother? We have nothing they want. No land, no treasure. And we always move on, allowing no one to grow too angry with us. Some might see this as cowardly, but we are proud. We are the last, and we will survive. They remain in human cities, forgetting all they once had. We call them flat ears, for they differ little from their Shemlin masters. A few may return, but we must accept that they know nothing of the lore, or why we keep it. We can hope to find a new home one day, where the Dalish and the flat ears will build a land greater even than Arlathan. We shall teach the Flat Ears the lore they lost. And perhaps they will teach us to understand the Shemlin at last. That is the only way we shall truly live in peace. Then I'm sure you have much to do. Unless you've other questions. The one who brought you back? Very little. He seemed decent enough as humans go. As for Grey Wardens, they're heroes without a doubt. Members of our own clan joined their ranks in ages past. Only that they eat living flesh, and lurk in underground tunnels, once ruled by the Durgenlen, the Dwarves. In the last blight long ago, the Grey Wardens all but wiped them out. Should they return, all races will shudder. I've never heard of such a thing. But, in the days of ancient Arlathan, we lived free and spread far across the continent. We were as varied as the Shemlin, though fewer in number. Perhaps some of us lived in caves then, but all knowledge from that era is lost. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen. I miss Tamlin. I want him to come home. Why would the Keeper call for a move so early? We were not expecting to leave for weeks. Thank the creators. We were sure we'd lose you last night. It's good to see you healthy. We feared you would perish. Anathara, it's good to see you recovered. They fare well. The Keeper called for the clan to move on, and they will be ready to take us. One is heavy with calf, but it shouldn't be a problem. May I ask of Tamlin's fate? Some say the clan will leave before we find him. The Hala mourn our fallen. 
No sound is more heart-wrenching than their morning cry. At least they won't be crying over you. They are quite fond of you. I admire them for their strength and pride. They are equals, not servants like the Shemlin horses. At any rate, I do not envy the Keeper's decision. I'll pray for Tamlin's safe return. Can we trust this Grey Warden? How do we know he didn't hurt Tamlin? It's good to see you healthy. We feared you would perish. Thank the Creators. We were sure we'd lose you last night. By the Creators, it is so good to see you whole and well. I was so worried. All that time you were ill, the Keeper didn't know if you were going to live or die. I've been outside the Keeper's tent the whole time. I have never been so relieved as when I heard you would pull through. What happened? Everyone says Tamlin may be dead. That's awful. I know how much you and the lad care for each other. It was always my hope that you two... Well, let's not dwell on it. You must be more careful. Your mother and father, may they rest in peace, would be horrified to see you take such risks. What happened to them is a sad tale, and it's in the past. Reopening old wounds benefits no one. True. Perhaps you're old enough to hear this, though it... Hardly seems like the right time. Very well. If I do not tell you now, you'll only wonder. Your mother was a hunter, one of the finest. And your father was the keeper before Marathari. He was with us for a very long time. Your mother was from another clan, and her elders did not approve of the match. She and your father had a meet in secret. One day, bandits caught them alone in the forest. Your father was killed. But your mother escaped. Your mother held to life long enough to give birth to you. But grief racked her heart. One night she... she simply walked into the moonlight and never returned. She just... couldn't carry on without your father. The clan decided not to discuss this around you, lest it poison your heart with sadness. Our people have learned to live with much sorrow. It seemed only right that we not dwell on it. Your mother did leave you a gift. Something of your father's for you to have once you were older. Perhaps the time has come. Take this key. You'll see some chests behind the storage Aravel by the Halapen. One of them was your mother's. Its contents are yours if you wish. Is Tamlin dead? Everybody says he's not coming back. It is begun. I'm glad you've recovered. Once we find Tamlin, we can concentrate on the journey northward. Thank you for the bow, Master Island. It is light and sturdy, much better than the one I made last year. You are more than welcome. My father made it and used it in battle against the Clan tribes. I will carry it with honor. One of my own crafting, perhaps? It 
may not have a history, but you'll provide one for it soon enough, yes? Then I am proud to tell it. Our clan was one of the first to flee the Dales. When we came to Ferelden, the fiercest of the Shimlin were the barbarians known as the Clan. We didn't wait for them to attack us. Every Dalish clan in Ferelden united to bring the battle to them. They were barbarians without honor. They would have slain us without a second thought. The ensuing battle went well for us. That day, we carved out our reputation of being the deadliest archers. Our arrows won us the right to wander these woods at will. It was this very bow that my father used that day. Thank you for the tale, Master Arlen, and especially the bow. I will honor its history. We are all the same clan. His hand is as my hand. I have relinquished nothing. It was my father who first spoke of the Vir Tanadal. The three ways of the hunter. The first is the Vir Asan, the way of the arrow. To reach for our goal, unrelenting. The second is the Vir Borasan, the way of the bow. To bend, but not to break. The last is the Vir Adelen, the way of the wood. We are as ancient as the forests, each tree a part of the greater land. All Dalish are united in this. One day, we shall have a homeland again. Of course, take whatever you need. Uh, hello there. I don't think we've met. Ah, it's good you're well. You weren't here when Paul arrived, were you? I've heard of you. Everyone is talking about you and the other missing hunter. A Grey Warden brought you back here. Only from stories I heard back in the alienage in Denerim. Paul's a flat air. He arrived here a few days ago from the human lands. I heard rumors in a nearby human village that a Dalish camp was close, and I hope to find your hunters in the forest. You were fortunate I didn't shoot you, Paul. I thought you were a shim, and a bandit at that. You're not the first city elf to rejoin his people. I'm sure he'll find life among us more satisfying than with the Shems, if no less harsh. In the alienage, we hear terrible stories about the Dalish. They aren't true, right? Ha! <laughs> That's funny! It's... it is funny, right? You don't actually do that. The Keeper told me I'm to accompany you back to those caves. As her apprentice, I may see something you missed. But our main objective is to find Tamlin, of course. We must make haste. He may not have much time. Enough to pique my interest and my concern. You can explain the rest on the way. A little, but the Keeper cured you. How dangerous could it be? Even if I get sick, finding Tamlin or something valuable will be worth it. What about Fenerel? You didn't think I'd notice him? I'm coming to help. Tamlin's my friend, too. We were supposed to go alone. Have you asked the Keeper about this? She is. I suppose I needn't worry about it, then. Are you ready? And let us make haste while daylight lasts. Darkspawn? I've never seen anything like them. You can smell the evil on them. Where did they come from? Were they here before? What would Darkspawn have to do with our people? The stories say our Lathan fell long before the Darkspawn appeared. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's hope we don't find any more of these monsters. Before we go, are you all right? Were you hurt during the fight? You do look quite pale now that Meryl's mentioned it. Well, I'll keep an eye on you. You've only just recovered from your illness. 
But let's not think of that now. We should move on. It shall be done. I wonder whose camp this is. Do you remember it being here? You're probably right. Didn't he say he was headed back to the cave? If so, he's not here now. And we've seen no sign of Tamlin. Maybe we should... Wait. Do you hear that? Exactly. The forest is too... still. Something's in the air. Something unnatural. It seems whatever you woke up inside that cave has spread outside. The sooner we find this cave and Tamlin, the sooner we can leave. Take us there quickly. Let's not waste any time. If Tamlin's alive, he needs us. Yes? Not much. They're an old order that saved us from Darkspawn in the past, but I thought they died out long ago. I'm told they deserve respect, though it was odd to see a Shem in our camp for so long. Yes? I dread to think of it. If he is as sick as you were, even if the worst has happened, we cannot leave his body unburied. Let's not waste any time. Yes? Tamlin's alive. He needs us. So these are the ruins. Interesting. They're definitely of human origin, yet elven artifacts are scattered amongst them. Nothing explains the monsters, though. But we must find Tamlin, or what's left of him. I can't imagine he's still alive with those creatures about. Maybe. Let's just hope he's here, somewhere. It's a trap. Look there, a cunning trap. It shall be done. So you were the one fighting Darkspawn. I thought I heard combat. You're the elf I found wandering the forest, aren't you? I'm surprised you have recovered. I would have, had I not been battling them myself. Not all the kills here were yours, as you can see. My name is Duncan. And it's a pleasure to finally meet you. The last time we spoke, you were barely conscious. 
And Daran Atisha and Duncan of the Grey Wardens. I am Meryl, the Keeper's apprentice. And I am Fenerel. Did you come here alone, human? Battling all those creatures? Yes, though I must admit you took a great deal of pressure off me. Your Keeper did not send you after me, did she? I told her I would be in no danger. So, you and your friend Tamlin both entered this cave, and you saw this mirror. I see. That's... unfortunate. The Grey Wardens have seen artifacts like this mirror before. It is Tevinter in origin, used for communication. Over time, some of them simply break. They become filled with the same taint as the Darkspawn. Tamlin's touch must have released it. It's what made you sick. And Tamlin too, I presume. Unfortunately, no. It will taint all those who come near it now. I do not fear this sickness. The Keeper knows how to cure it. She may have weakened it, but she cannot cure it. Your recovery is only temporary. I can sense the sickness in you, and it is spreading. Look inside yourself, and you will see. First, we deal with the mirror. It is a pestilence and a threat. It is done. Now let's leave this cursed place. I must speak with the Keeper immediately regarding your cure. I would dare more than that to stop such a threat. There is nothing we can do. Let me be very clear. There is nothing you can do for him. He's been tainted for three days now, unaided. Through your Keeper's healing arts and your own willpower, you did not die, but Tamlin has no chance. Trust me when I say that he is gone. Now we should return. The Darkspawn would have taken it. Why would they take his body? Not to eat it, I hope. Darkspawn are evil creatures, and it's best to leave it at that. I'm sorry. With the mirror destroyed, I doubt the Darkspawn will return. Can we return later and search through the ruins? We could learn from many things here besides the mirror. The cave is not safe. Everything here was exposed to the mirror's taint. If your people must come here, they should cleanse it with fire. It's not that simple. I would tell you more, but I must first speak with your keeper. If you prefer, I can wait outside while you look around, but I assure you, he will not be here. I suggest, however, leaving sooner rather than later. You are sick whether you feel it or not. And it does you no good to linger. As you wish, I will see you back at camp. begun. It shall be done. It's a trap. Look there, a cunning trap. It's a trap. As you say. Oh, 
I'm relieved you have returned, and I did not expect to see you again so soon, Duncan. I was not expecting to return so soon either, Keeper. Dare I ask of Tamlin? What did you find of him? I see. Meryl, what about the mirror? Did you bring anything back? I can answer that, Keeper. I destroyed the mirror. I intended to use it to find a cure for this mysterious illness. I trust you had good reasons for your actions. There is much to discuss, Keeper. I have learned a great deal since I was lost here. Let us speak privately within my Aravel then, Duncan. Meryl, warn the hunters. If Darkspawn are about, I want the clan prepared. Manu Vinen, Keeper, right away. Darlene, allow me some time to speak with Duncan. Seek us out at my Aravel later, and we can discuss your cure. Because I must talk to your Keeper first. It will not take long. Tell Haran Pival what has occurred. He now has the sad task of preparing a service for the dead. Follow me, Duncan. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. Why has the Grey Warden returned with you? We have much to do before we can travel. So you return with the Grey Warden, but without Tamlin. What happened, Dalen? Is he truly lost to us? You've done nothing of the sort, Dalen. Do not blame yourself. It seems the will of the creators that I sing the dirge for those I held in my arms as babes. I think I know why our immortal ancestors would sleep. Swiftly do stars burn a path across the sky, hastening to place one last kiss upon your eye. Tenderly land enfolds you in slumber, softening the rolling thunder. Dagger now sheathed, bow no longer tense. During this, your last hour, only silence. Of course. We've no body to return to the soil, but we shall still sing for Tamlin. The creators must come to guide him to the beyond. Tell the Keeper it shall be done before the clan is ready to move on. We shall sing for him anyway, and pray he does not suffer. I ask only one thing, if I may. This Grey Warden. You have met him now, yes? Is he a good man? Interesting. What is it he talks to the Keeper about, I wonder? Perhaps you should go and ask. Only that they eat living flesh, and lurk in underground tunnels, once ruled by the Durgenlen, the dwarves. In the last blight long ago, the Grey Wardens all but wiped them out. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen. Your Keeper and I have spoken, and we've come to an arrangement that concerns you. My order is in need of help. You are in need of a cure. When I leave, I hope you will join me. You would make an excellent Grey Warden. Yes, Dalen. Your life depends on it. The Darkspawn taint courses through your veins. That you recovered at all is remarkable. 
but eventually the taint will sicken and kill you, or worse. The Grey Wardens can prevent that, but it means joining us. We do not know, but we could not watch you suffer. The Grey Warden offers you a way to survive. This is not simply charity on my part. I would not offer this if I did not think you had the makings of a Grey Warden. Let me be clear. You will likely never return here. We go to fight the Darkspawn, a battle that will take us far from your clan. But we need you, and others like you. A great army of Darkspawn gathers in the south. A new blight threatens the land. We cannot outrun this storm. Long ago, the Dalish agreed to aid the Grey Wardens against a blight should that day arrive. We must honor that agreement. It breaks my heart to send you away. As it would to watch you die slowly from this sickness. This is your duty, and your salvation. I welcome you to the Order. It is rare to have a Dalish amongst us, but they have always served with distinction. I know you'll do your clan proud, Dalen. Take this ring. It is your heritage, and will protect you against the darkness to come. A valuable gift. So, are you ready to go? We have much ground to cover, but I cannot deny you that. Say your farewells. Then we must be off. Come then, Dalen. Before the Creators guide you from us, let your clan embrace you one last time. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. But all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together, after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. You are Dalish, are you not? I hear your people possess remarkable skill and honor. I wish I knew more, but your people aren't exactly fond of mine, for good reason. I tell you this, you are very welcome here. The Grey Wardens will benefit greatly with you amongst them. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the Tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. 
They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Mm, true. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. <laughs> I agree. We have until nightfall to begin the ritual. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The joining is what will cure you of the suffering your tainted blood surely brings you. If it had been possible, I would have done it before now. The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. It is a secret, and it is not a simple antidote. The joining is what will make you a Grey Warden. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge should you need to.